calculating the perimeter of a compound shape is the same as calculating the perimeter of a single shape. And if we just reintroduce our friend Percy perimeter, the perimeter is just how much you would have to walk if you walked around the outside of that shape. So if Percy starts here, he's going to walk two centimetres along the top, three centimetres down here, turn the corner, walk six centimetres, turn the corner and go down three centimetres. Along the bottom, he's going to go eight centimetres and then up the side, back to where he started, and that's six centimetres. And if you add the centimetres that he's travelled around that shape, altogether, he's travelled 28 centimetres. What is the perimeter of this compound shape? Pause the video, have a go. I always do a little star to say where I've started so that I don't accidentally go and count that bit again. So that's three centimetres, add on another three centimetres, add on seven centimetres, add on four centimetres, add on ten centimetres, and finally seven centimetres, and I'm back to where I started. If I add those centimetres together, the perimeter of that shape is 34 centimetres. Some compound shapes can include a triangle as well as a rectangle. One word of warning here, if you're someone who understands Pythagoras, you will probably notice that some of these triangles do fit into the rules of Pythagoras and some don't. I've merely created these to illustrate how to find the perimeter of a compound shape, so they might not be sophisticated enough for somebody who understands Pythagoras. If you don't know what Pythagoras is, don't worry about it yet. So if we're going to say that the length of this diagonal line here is 5 metres, and then we travel down here and that's 4 metres, and then another 4 metres across, and then 7 metres to take us back up to the top, add those together, the perimeter of that shape is 20 metres. What is the perimeter of this compound shape? Pause the video, have a go. Starting here, walking along this bit at the top, that's 10 metres, down here that's 9 metres, add that on, 20 metres across the bottom, add that on, and back to the beginning, that's 5 metres up. Add those together, the perimeter of this shape is 44 metres. Here we have a more complex shape. I'm going to start here. That's 2 millimetres. That's 5 millimetres. Add that on. Add on 8 millimetres. Add on 4 millimetres. Add on 12 millimetres. And add on 9 millimetres. And the perimeter of this shape is 40 millimetres. And finally, one for you to have a go at, what's the perimeter of this compound shape? Pause the video, have a go. Starting here, four across, five millimetres down, ten millimetres across, six millimetres down, fifteen millimetres across, and fifteen millimetres back to the top. Altogether, the perimeter of this shape is fifty-five millimetres.